welcome back to my channel this is Laura today what I'm gonna share with you is how I make some Valentine's Day sugar cookies it's a very simple recipe just a few ingredients to make them look super cute and something that you can make to give for co-workers neighbors kids don't forget the husband and the wife it like I said it's a very simple recipe you just need a few things I like to decorate them extra sweet we're gonna make just one dough we're gonna make about two or three different types of cookies style them in different ways so i hope you enjoy the video if you do don't forget those thumbs up leave that comment that really helps the channel all right guys let's go ahead and jump on into this video okay we are going to start with our butter which should be softened at room temperature Get two sticks of butter and we're going to add our sugar okay and we're going to beat this to real light and fluffy Okay, we are going to add our egg and our extracts. I am going to add almond extract and vanilla extract. So I'm going to put half of the almond and one of the vanilla. I like to use the clear vanilla so that it doesn't tint the dough and you can do more decorating with it if you want to. Okay, now we're just going to scrape the bottom, make sure that there's nothing stuck down All right. Now over here with the flour, we're going to mix in our salt and our baking powder. And we're just going to give this a little mix. And we're going to start incorporating it into the wet. Okay, here we go. Okay, and that is it. I'm going to pop you back over to the counter and we'll start to put some food coloring in this dough. Okay, here I have the dough. I am going to use pink, violet, and red. Now this is going to be up to you how you want to decorate your cookies. I'm going to break this up into three sections and we're going to color each section or you can leave one out. As a matter of fact, I'm going to leave one out. We're going to leave one out and we're going to cut this into three portions and we're going to color each these three into one of these colors. Let me move these out of the way and I like to put a parchment paper so that it doesn't stain up the counter. Let me get some pink going here. I have to open this. All right now I am going to add the food coloring. I'm just going to add a very tiny little bit at a time. I don't want it too dark. And that's going to be it for the pink. I am going to leave it more on the lighter side. So I'm going to move on to... Okay, now let's move on to the violet. It takes it a little while sometimes to pick up the color. You just got to keep working it and working it. If it gets too sticky for you at any point, you can add just a dusting of flour. Not too much, just a very little bit. Okay, that one's ready. Okay, and now we're going to do the red. And there's the red. All right, let me wash my hands and we'll continue. Okay, and now I'm going to wrap them individually in some saran wrap and put them in the refrigerator for just about 30 minutes. This dough is pretty nice. It, it works really, really well. Okay, I'll be back in a few minutes after this is chilled for a little bit. Okay guys, we're back. I have a few things here. I have some cutters, I have a little bit of flour, I have my bench scraper, and I have the four colors of the dough that we're gonna use. You can get a couple of different designs from here. You pick the colors, it doesn't matter what color. So let's get these open, and let's start the first couple that, we, that I have in mind. This red turned out so pretty, real vibrant. Look at that red. The purple I wish would have been a little bit lighter, but that's okay. At least it's a violet. And then this is the regular one, the one that has no tint to it at all. And you can use this one with all these colors. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to cut this into little balls, okay? So you get your, your first color. Make sure the balls are the same color. That might be too big. You can use one or two colors or mix them all up. It doesn't matter. It's up to you. Okay, I'm going to show you one with the red and the white. The pink and the white, sorry. So I'm just shaping them into little balls like that. Okay, we're going to put a little bit of flour on top, sprinkle a little bit of flour, and then we're just going to press them down just like that. You can even use your bench scraper to press them down. Put a little bit of flour on here so that it doesn't stick. 
Okay, and there's your first cookie. Okay, just like that. So once it cooks, it will all bake together. Something different, something out of the ordinary for cookies. So I'm gonna do that one. Let's do the... Put a little bit of flour so that it doesn't get stuck. Flatten it down. You can even use a rolling pin. And then you're gonna dust off all that flour. And that's it. And look at how different that is for a Valentine's cookie. Isn't that adorable? That's cute. And there's the red and the pink. Okay, so that was style number one. We're gonna work on another style here. I'm gonna cut this in half or onto a strip, just like that. I'm gonna put the purple. You can use whatever colors you like. It doesn't make no difference. Let's make this a little bit longer. And you can put them together. You put them together in whatever order you want to. I'm just giving you examples. So I'm going to put a little bit of flour. Let's go ahead and put a little bit of flour down here. Okay, and then we get our, our rolling pin. And we're going to roll it out. Let's make sure it's the same thickness all the way around. Now you can either cut them in little boxes like this, like little frames like this. Or you can do the hearts. And what you want to do is just put them at different angles like this or like that and not any cookie is going to be the same color. So I'm just going to start cutting them out here. And you just take it apart. It doesn't matter if it gets mixed up. You're just going to roll it back up and then just fix the edges. And there's one. See how cute that is? You have two different totally designs same cookie dough two different designs let's go on to the next one I'm gonna go ahead and pop these into the oven then we'll move on to another design that I have in mind okay so here are the colors we have uh, still I'm gonna take the red I'm just gonna try to shape them the same one on top of the other Okay, so I just layered them like this. If you want to put it, it starts getting too soft, just pop it back into the refrigerator. But what you're going to do after this is you're going to start cutting them, slicing them into quarter inch slices, straight down. And then you bake them just like that. And that looks so pretty. Just the colors, like I said, put the colors however you want to. So I have these and I'm also going to pop these into the oven and I will be back to show you all what they look like. Okay, we are back to decorate the cookies. This is what they look like out of the oven. You see how you have such a big variety just like that. You have this ombre looking one, how cute. You decide how you want to cut them out. If you just want to do regular round cookies, that's good as well, you know? I mean, you pick what you want to do. So now I am going to melt the meltables so that we can drizzle some and decorate them some more and maybe add some sprinkles to these. I like to melt them in these in these little Pyrex bowls, so if I have extra, I always have the lid to cover it and reuse it at a later date. So I'm going to pick the colors that I want, and really I just kind of go with two or three, you know, I mean you pick whatever you want. So you want to go with the light color, and then maybe some chocolate. This is my favorite chocolate one that I use, this is uh, Ghirardelli dark chocolate, it is so good. Okay, and then I got this real pretty pink. So I'm going to go and melt these in the microwave and I'll be right back. All right, now that we have our chocolates here, I just popped them into these little uh, piping bags and I tied them up just so the chocolate doesn't seep out on me. I arranged my cookies in a manner that I'm going to sprinkle them this way and you have less, less waste of your chocolate. That's what I have found. I have my sprinkles ready over here because you want to put them on before the actual chocolate dries up. Uh, whatever design you want to do, like if you want to do these, you want to put some white uh, icing with some maybe red or white sprinkles, that's up to you. You pick whatever you want. And what I have found with these chocolates that if it hardens up on me, I pop them in the microwave for about five seconds. And normally I do okay with it. You know, I don't have any problems with it. So I am going to snip off the tip and then I'm just gonna test it to see if that's what I like, the drip I like. 
You don't want it too, too thick. Like I'm just going to test it here. And that seems to be okay. To where you can almost see the pattern underneath. I hope you saw that. Okay, so now I'm going to do a little bit of sprinkling. And there you go. That's all you do. Let me bring you up close so you can see that. Okay, if you want to put less so that you can see the pattern underneath, that is totally up to you. You know, you do what you like. Let's see if this is thick enough, okay? So maybe I'm gonna try the heart with this one and we'll go with the same pattern as the dough. Okay, and then maybe some little sprinkles. I don't like to put too many sprinkles, just enough to where, you know, they're gonna stick. And sometimes you have to press them down if the icing is too thin. And there you go, just like that. Look how cute that looks. Okay, now I'm going to keep going with the chocolate. Okay, and there you go. They just don't look so plain, the cookies. See? Okay, I'm just going to keep going with these. Okay, and there we go. And then you take it from there. You be as creative as you want. And then all you have to do is let these cool before you package them up.